What's good YouTube, LeVar here. We back with another NBA 2K25 video. And in this video, I'm going to chat with y'all little youngies. I'm going to talk to y'all boys about the difference between the inside and the popper. And what's better, what's more effective, what's the way to go. Because that's the big debate that I've been seeing everywhere online. The big debate right now. The big question mark right now. Especially for the big man, because this is mostly for the big man. The centers, the power forwards, the park power forwards, prime centers, whatever the case may be. Do you make an inside center or do you make a popper center? I'm going to tell you straightforward. I'm not even going to waste your time. The answer is it does not matter. And let me tell you why. Hear me out before you click off this video. It literally does not matter. There are very, very much equal effectiveness if you have an inside center versus an outside shooting popper big man center whatever you want to call it I'm just gonna call it a popper versus an inside insides are so effective when it comes to defense rebounds dunking slipping screens having the, the stronger man like you stronger than the popper most of the time you go up against a popper you're gonna be stronger than them okay there are perks to having an inside if your guard cannot get a bucket for whatever reason he is getting clamped up hey he could call for that slip you going right to that basket easy dunk you'll be fast and everything you should be fast enough to cut to that basketball easy dunk. You put you most likely because you're inside, you're gonna have a way higher rebound, way higher rebound badges and attributes compared to what a popper would have. So it's a lot of pros when it comes to having an inside. This is why I love playing inside, me personally. But I also play popper, and there's a bunch of perks too and pros when it comes to popper. When you're a popper, obviously they got a shot. You can space the floor more. If your guard is getting clamped on the perimeter. You know what I'm saying? You could go for a pick and pop. Or if you spotting up, you know what I'm saying? You could bait the defender, whoever's guarding you while you spotting up. You could somehow get by. They could somehow get by their defender, bring in the other guy, and they know they, not, they might not make a layup. They might not get a dunk off because the lockdown that's on them is kind of likes that. They kick it out to you. Easy three. Easy jumper. You know what I'm saying? It really is going to come down to what your guard prefers. I've been telling people this since forever, to be honest. Like, it's really gonna come down to what your guard prefer. Majority of the time, considering like last year when the game came out, a lot of people did not know what the heck they was doing when they had their guards. You know, they had the they, that was when the three adrenaline bars were like brand new, if I'm not mistaken. The little adrenaline bars thing were brand new. And people had to learn how to adjust to it because they were speed boosting. Every time you speed boosted, they losing the adrenaline bar. So they was they were starting to get slower and slower and slower. So they wasn't gonna be able to just dribble as freely as they normally would in the past games. You know what I'm saying? So they was asking for insides a lot. I don't know if people remember this. this is the beginning of the game last year. I made an inside to start because people were saying, "Oh yeah, insides are back. Insides are back." First of all, insides never been gone. Insides never been dead. It's just a mentality thing. Nowadays, everyone considers poppers more useful because they feel like, oh, they can shoot. Let me get the popper then. You know what I'm saying? We got more options to score if I can't score. We, get, we can let them shoot the bucket. Bro, literally, poppers were a thing back then. Insides also were a thing back then. But the difference is dribbling has become way more or less arcadey. Dribbling has become way less more free it's more stricter to make it more realistic so a lot of people are starting to realize like okay maybe we shouldn't rock with the inside as much but that's that's not true you can still rock with the inside as long as you know what you're doing as a guard you know what i'm saying at the end of the day it's going to come down to what the guard that you playing with prefers me personally i'm playing with a new guard 24 7 so i can't even it's, it's going to be a struggle for me to decide if I'm going to make an inside first or a popper first. I'm probably going to do a popper first to play it safe because, like I said, the mental game right now, that has that, that that's how it's been the last few years, to be honest, is everyone adores poppers over insides because of the simple fact they can shoot. If I had to choose, if I had to say which one I feel like is more effective at the end of the day, which is more dominant, if you want to go for a more dominant approach, you definitely should make an inside. Insides are very dominant, and I don't think it's going to be any different in this game in 2K25. Insides dominate the paint so much harder than the popper would. If your team is bricking and bricking and bricking, you can count on that inside to get some offensive rebounds, my boy. My insides will come in clutch for the snags, come in clutch for the defense 24-7, unlike the popper would. I mean, me personally, my popper would do the same thing. But if you have an inside, you have a way better chance of doing that thing. You feel me? It was not going to be the same as if you have a popper. Your rebound is lower. Your 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 your, your physicals is probably lower. Because shooting costs a lot on when you're making your builds. Shooting costs a ton. 
You know what I'm saying? And if I'm not mistaken, this year, from what I've heard, a lot of the builds are very more restricted than they have been before. You are not going to be able to make no overpowered popper. A lot of the popper builds I've been seeing have been looking real shaky. And listen, I'm not judging the people who made these popper builds I've been seeing on YouTube. Me, I haven't been to Community Day. I haven't touched the game yet. I haven't been able to make my own build. I haven't been able to put my own mind to a build yet for a popper or inside. But from what I've seen, these are from people who know what they're doing. They've been playing the game for years. They got the experience, they got the skill. Clearly, they got the credibility because that's why they're at Community Day. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say certain people shouldn't be there or they're not gonna listen to their bills because they're not, they're not calm, they're not calm. Bro, they play the game enough to know enough. They play the game enough to be there so they must know enough about the game. They're not just complete casuals who barely touch the game, don't know what's good, don't know what's not good. So let's give them some respect, let's give them some credit. You know what I'm saying? Because if any one of us was invited to Community Day, we would all be wanting people to listen to our bills too. Because we're the people that play the game the most. We're not the people who touch the game like just for casual play every once in a while, like every couple of days or every other week or something. Like, oh, I'm gonna hop on that 2K. I'm, I'm tired, I just got off of work. Let me hop on 2K, play for like 30 minutes to an hour, get right off. No, a lot of them creators put in a lot of hours on that game. You know what I'm saying? But again, once I get my hands on this game, I'm gonna have my own insight. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it at the fact that when you go on between an inside or a popper, if you have a consistent guard that you play with 24-7, ask that guard what do they prefer the most, okay? Ask them what would they prefer the most. If you don't have a consistent teammate, you do not have a consistent teammate you play with all the time. If you have a, 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 a if you play with randoms all the time, like me, you know what I'm saying? I would say make a popper, okay? Your best bet is to make a popper. That's if you don't have a consistent team, you play with randoms all the time. If you have a guard or a consistent team, consistent team that you know very well, you play with them all the time, you can ask them for their input. If they say go for an inside, go for the inside. If they say go for the popper, go for the popper. But they both are very, very good. Nowadays in 2K, this is the age of diversity. People don't understand this because of all these build videos. I'm telling you, it's a mental blockage. All these build videos that be dropped, People need to understand, there is way more diverse builds nowadays than it's ever been. There's way more builds that can work out and you can cook up with than it's ever been. It was like this last year too as well. All these vi build videos you see, they are just, they're just build videos, that's all they are. It's just opinions, it's just, it's just um reference. It's not something that you should 100,000% listen to. I can make my own build right now when I get that game and it'll be just as effective as any other build somebody posting on YouTube that's not the same as that build. Why? Because it comes down to your skill level. And that's another, here's another thing I'm gonna touch on. Your role and your skill level plays a part in these builds. A lot of these builds that people are making for a popper or inside are for what they believe works for them. That may not work for you or me, your mama, your daddy, anybody. It may not work for everybody. I see a lot of people saying, um, a lot of people go on low blocks, low blocks this and low blocks that. You should have at least a 93 plus. So for Gold or Hall of Fame, uh, paint patroller. People were saying this last year. Not everybody needs that. People were telling me last year not to have a low block because why would you have a low block? You should have a 93 plus. You should have Gold Anchor, blah, 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 blah. Me personally, I didn't need that. Just like me personally, I never needed Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser. I never needed Hall of Fame Box Out Beast. Why? Because my skill is good enough to the point where I don't need those things. You know what I'm saying? I don't need those certain, those certain, those certain uh, necessities that other people might need. I have great, great control of my players, great movement, great skills on the sticks to the point where I don't have to follow what other people say. It's a lot of people out here that's like that. They don't. You don't have to listen to what exactly these builds are being posted or saying. You can accord. You can coordinate them to your skill level. Everybody's skill level different. Everybody's role is different. I see a lot of builds on poppers with low pads. I see a lot of builds on insides with low pads. I'm not making a build with low pads. Why? Because I'm a really good passer, and I'm really quick on my icon pass. I'm really good on my icon pass. It's so good. I'm not gonna make a build with low pads. That's just gonna get picked off all the time, or you're gonna throw that bitch out of bounds. You feel me? And that's in regards to a popper on inside. It don't even matter. But I would recommend when you start that out, like I said, start with a popper. I recommend you start with a popper. 
you're not wrong if you go for an inside. I'm just letting you know, and you might find it hard to find certain teammates if you make an inside because the way the mental game is now, everyone fiends for poppers. Everyone fiends for poppers, and it's been like that for the last few years. Last year, people were saying, oh yeah, insides are back, insides are back, oh my god, insides are back. Five days later, four days later, you got an inside? Why you got an inside? Where your pop at? Let me bring that pop out. I need that pop up. Bring that pop up. You know what I'm saying? I, I will never forget. This is the same thing that happened last year. When, when 2K was about to come out, 2K24 was about to come out, everybody looking at the builder, everybody looking at the early gameplay, everybody saying, oh my gosh, insides are back. Oh my gosh, insides are back. Inside, they're doing the same thing this year. Insides are back. Poppers looking cooked. Poppers not looking good. Watch. Poppers will be the thing again. Not because it's better than the inside. They're both just as equally effective. But because the majority community of the guard community, the lockdown community, they all prefer poppers. It's just that simple. You feel me? It's just that simple. But like I said, at the end of the day, don't let these people stop you from making what you want to make because you can definitely make any type of build that's cater to you you know what i'm saying it should be more diversity it doesn't need to be everybody using the same types of builds i see everybody sharing builds everywhere like oh let me send me that build let me see that build i might i might use that build let's use that build bro it's so many builds you can use that's good as a center center or powerful it don't even matter it's so much good builds so much good diverse builds you do not have to stick to one specific build that looks the best there's no the best there is no best build I've been saying this for forever. I know I make build videos. I might put best build in my title, but it's not a best build. They're all just as good. It depends on you and your skill, your role, and the people you're playing with, and the style y'all play. It depends on all of those things. You know what I'm saying? This is just my input. I'm no, I am no way Jesus when it comes to this game. I'm no way the person who made this game, so I wouldn't know all the ins and outs, but I played 2K enough. To know what I'm talking about. I've been playing 2K since 2K11. I've been playing online 2K since 2K15. You got me? I've been around the block. I played competition. I played program. I played stage. I played rec. I played pop. Hey, we in the proven grounds this year. I'm playing proven grounds all year long. We getting that top rep. You feel what I'm saying? We getting that. We getting that rep. You know what I mean? Um, that's pretty much all I gotta say though for this video. I mean, it's it's pretty much just that simple. Hit that like button if you agree with what I'm saying. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, uh, leave a comment. I read all my comments. If you check my videos, I read all my comments. I heart them. I might even reply to them all the time. I'm not no Hollywood ass nigga who just want to ignore your comments. I don't do that. I don't like that. I would hate for somebody to do that to me. But I appreciate you for watching if you made it to the end of this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.